Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, some people have asked me that they can't find where to actually add a local account within Windows 10. They want to add a second account but they don't want it you know have it uh, with an email or through a Microsoft account of some sort. They want to have a local account because of course it doesn't share as much information with Microsoft and, and, and it doesn't sync stuff like a usual uh, Windows 10 account with the Microsoft account. But they can't seem to find how to create a local account. And, you know, I got to say, they're not really making it that easy for you to create one. So in the October 2018 update, and I believe the April 2018 update also has that same way of doing things. What you need to do is go into your settings. Here you will go into accounts. Now, even though, and we'll click on the left side to family and other users even though it might be a family member uh, don't use the family member side of things if you wish to add someone with a local account why family member accounts can you can't have a local account it will actually ask you to have some form of, of, of way of getting in uh, the accounts will ask you for an email or to create an account or to use a phone number but it won't give you the possibility to ignore that. You have to use the other users, uh, basically, in order to have a local account. There you will click Add Someone Else to this PC. In here, you will have, I don't have this person's sign-in information. Click there. Then you will, of course, click Add a User Without a Microsoft Account. And finally, you will create that account. So who's using this PC? So let's uh, do an account here. Let's say this is uh, going to be, uh, for me, I'll call it test account. And you want to have a password. So in here, you will enter any password you want to add in here. And once that is done, in case you forget your password, you have security questions available. And of course, you will click and select security question one and the name and so on and of course when that is done you'll click next of course here the fields are required so I will click next but once you do that you will have the ability to actually create that new account and once you actually restart the PC that local account will be there so you'll be able to add that local account to your PC so remember don't go to family at a family member you won't be able to do a local account there even if it's a family member go to add someone else to this pc and uh, of course you'll have the possibility to create an account which is um, you know an administrative account or just a user account uh, honestly when you create a second account and it's for somebody else i do not recommend that you do an administrative account because they could do what they want by having a user account, they can't do what they want. They have to ask permission for you know, your account or for you, from you, to uh, be able to do anything. So it's safer to just lock it down like this with a user account. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.